Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the torque equation of a DC motor, so part 2. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem. Determine developed torque and shaft torque of 220 voltage 4 pole series motor with 800 conductors. Wave connected supplying a load of 8.2 kilowatt by taking 45 ampere from the mains. So this is coming under the series motor and the connected is a wave connected. The power is given output power. The flux per pole is 25 milliweber and the armature resistance is 0.6 ohm. Now we will analyze the given data. So what are the data given? We will analyze. So the voltage is given, terminal voltage, 220 voltage, number of pole equal to 4, number of conductors 800, then power is given 8.2 kilowatt, kilowatt means 10 to the power 3, kilo mean we need to multiply with 10 to the power 3, so 8.2 into 10 to the power 3 watts, then the load current is given as 45 ampere, then flux is 25 milliweber, milli means 10 to the power minus 3. So, 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 Weber. Then RA plus RSE, right? The armature resistance because both are the this series generated. So, the, together it is given 0.6 ohm. And this wave connected so that the number of parallel path equal to 2. Because of wave connected, the number of parallel path equal to 2. So, we need to find the developed torque. That means armature torque and as well as shaft torque, right? The torque developed in the armature is called armature torque. After some losses, the remaining will be available in the shaft. That is called a shaft torque. Right. Now, we will see that in a series motor, this armature current IA equal to IAC equal to IL, all are same. Both all are connected in series. Armature, field and load all are connected in series. So, the same current is flowing through all three. So, that it is 45 ampere. Now we will see the armature torque T A equal to 0.159 pi Z I A into P by A. That is flux into number of conductors armature current pole divided by number of parallel path. So this that T A equal to 0.159 into the flux is given 25 milliweber. So 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. Number of conductor is 800. R major current is 45 ampere is available. The number of pole is 4 divided by number of parallel path is 2. So, by simplifying this what we got 286.2 Newton meter. The torque developed in the R major is 286.2 Newton meter. Now, we will go to the shaft torque, the torque available in the shaft. But before that we will see that we need to find the speed because shaft torque we need speed is available, speed is needed. So, the back EMF of the DC motor is EB equal to P pi N divided by 60 into Z by A. This is the formula for back EMF. So, by rearranging that we can find the able to find the expression for speed, right? 60 into A. This is multiplied in the numerator EB into 60 A. This P pi and Z is brought in the denominator of the left hand side. So, that speed equal to E B into 60 into A divided by P pi into Z. So, this is the expression for speed. Here the number of parallel path, number of conductor, flux, pole, all data are available. But back EMF is not given in the problem. So, we need to find the back EMF. So, back EMF E B equal to V minus IA into RA plus RSE because armature and field are connected in series. In problem also together RA plus RAC the value is given. Both are connected in series. So, the applied voltage is 220 minus IA is 45. All currents are equal. Since RA plus RAC is given as 0.6. So, by simplifying this what we got 193 voltage the back EMF developed in the motor is 193 voltage. 
by using this now we can able to find the speed of the motor eb also now calculated so eb into 60 into a divided by p by z the eb what we calculated 193 into 60 into number of parallel path is 2 number of pole is 4 the flux is 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 the number of conductor is 800 so by simplifying this what we got 289.5 rpm right the speed of the motor is 289.5 rpm by using the speed we can able to find the shaft torque because the formula for shaft torque is 9.55 into output of the motor divided by speed right the output is already available in the problems given now speed is needed the speed now we calculated so 9.55 into 8.2 into 10 to the power 3 8.2 kilowatt is a power output of the motor kilowatt mean it 10 to the power 3 8.2 into 10 to the power 3 the speed what we calculated 289.5 so by simplifying this what we got 270.5 newton meter the torque available the shaft available at the shaft is 270.5 newton meter see this this shaft torque is less than the armature torque this is the torque developed inside the motor but after some losses the remaining 270.5 newton meter is available at the shaft so in this problem we calculated the armature torque torque developed in the armature as well as torque available in the shaft Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.